Biggity Zig talking his way out of bronze game number 106 between myself, Ziggity Zig down here in Metalopolis, and F F Fix, Fix Loki. Fix Loki, who wins the uh, income battle right away. So, switch over to Hero Cam. Yes, we're going to call it Hero Cam for about eight seconds before I totally forget what I'm doing and then call it something else. So, good luck. Have fun coming out of Fix. P P H -H, maybe that's his clan. We'll just call him Loki. So, there's Loki as a Zerg. Now, I notice. Well, I know that I haven't had all that many Zerg games recently, so I thought I'd do a bit of a Zerg game. And I'm learning something here. Uh, it gives me a control shift F to follow that. Yeah, hey, look at that! I don't need to do it. Whoa! I think that's just focus, though. That's whoa! It centers in on whatever I select. Hey, that's great! I'm not touching the keyboard at all right now. I'm finding this fun in a silly kind of way. So let's 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 turn that the hell off. Let's. Whoa! No! No! Get off! Get off! Get off! Okay, there, I turned it off. Control shift, shift F. Casters should never hit that unless they know what they're getting into. <laughs> because all it does is it slowly focuses in on everything that that player is playing. Maybe it works better if you're on E. But we'll see. So, I get in my little proby proby scouty scouty, and I don't scout any gas just yet. Which is odd. I've decided, and I've been learning this, that uh, probably going after the gateway is up probably the best way to go and I should be getting gateway very 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 soon where my gateway at come on now come on I was over there worried about my stupid scout oh and I also popped that up so oh did he see it yes he saw that that was ridiculous so bad timing there or else he might not have seen that right away or the best bet is to probably put your forwards pylon way up here not directly in between the two know what I'm saying so the gateway coming in down at uh, my at the top of my ramp, got my gas on the way. Let's see how the worker supply is going. It is kind of in my favor, so that's not bad. Seventeen fourteen. I'm chronoing out another. It usually lasts about two and a half probes. I found not not full three, but two and a half. Hmm. There's the half because I forgot. What did I forget to make probes? I got three hundred friggin' minerals. I'm forgetting to make probes. <laughs> I'm just gonna talk to myself. Whoa! What is going on here? That's just nut balls. So yeah, he did see that. But I thought to myself, hey, you know what I'm making him do? I'm making him lose a whole bunch of mineral time there. So I thought, good, good. That was a positive thing. Now the problem is here is that I've still got this overlord in my base. That I want to get rid of. So here's and and the other thing I did was I started was when I noticed he was going after that pylon. I tried to get another pylon up just in time. In time for what you may ask? In time for well, not all that much. Bah. Not quite in time to keep my pylon my pylon supply probe count up. But see, yeah, I'm about to supply block myself again. Oh, no, there's another pile line. That's excellent. There we go. So, I'm again trying to remember that I... That if the corner of my base that I walk all the way around is in between me and my opponent's base, lining up here with... up along this edge with pylons is probably the best way to go because then you can warp in on the, on the above ground and the below ground, which I think I just reversed that with the mouse, but you know what I'm saying. No, I'm saying... When I was playing WoW, just the tail end of WoW, I wanted to create a guild and call it G N O M E S A N E. The only problem there was I was a horde. If it was if it would have been full of gnomes, it would have been awesome. But gnome sane is quite possibly the best guild name ever. Instead, I created one called Obscure Latin Reference because I was just sick of everybody having an obscure Latin reference that they didn't fully understand. They just thought, "I'm cool. I'm gonna talk in Latin. Here we go. Herpader." Zealots going zealot crazy because it's up against Zerg. I could use a sentry or two, and can I squeeze out another sentry? Not if I chrono, I suppose. So I thought I was doing okay at this point. Worker supply ahead, army supply seems to be on par, even though I have no friggin' clue what the other guy's doing. Ah, uh, and again, this was a long game, so let's just see how we're doing. And I expand. I expand. Why? Because I have vision here, I have vision up here, so I can see anything coming pretty quick. If, in fact, I'm looking at the minimap. Meanwhile, I don't think I was checking up here, but it is Zerg, and Zerg are pretty 
Well, that's the Bronze League, and Zerg are pretty basic about things like this. So no Stalkers yet! Check me out! I'm staying away from the Stalkers because I know how mineral-heavy and sort of everything else heavy they are. So now I finally get in my peak. And my peak does not tell me quite as much as I thought it was going to tell me. My peak basically just tells me that he's got a bunch of links. That's it. Just a bunch of links. Now probably would have been the best time to go. Oh, he's droning it up. That's that's the thing. That's the ticket. Drone it up. And there goes the roach worm. But where the hell is? Oh, I know where that is. I know where that is. Do you know what I forgot to scout with Mr. Observer here? Right up here. See up here. See up there. Oh, that's not where he put his roach worm. Where the hell did he put that? Where's this snotting? Oh, it's back there, I see. So I didn't even scout. Ah, okay, so I forgot to go behind. So I didn't think there was a roach worn on the way, mostly because all I see is a bunch of this. Just a few circles down at the front. Meanwhile, back home, what am I doing? Not doing anything about this overlord as well. Still on just two bases. I guess this third is finally coming up. So I actually labeled this game, took a fast third. Here's my army right here. Now, the problem with this army is, well, actually, no. The problem here is that his worker supply is way higher than mine. Look at that. Barely making any probes. Barely making any pro. Oh, come on! Okay, so I do my split. And then I crap myself a lot. There's another gate. So I have... Yeah, so I'm at least... When I expand, I at least expanded properly. But the real problem here, the real problem here is worker supply. I don't even have enough in there. I do have a fair amount of coin, which is cool. What am I doing with said coin? Not too friggin' much, I don't mind telling you. Because I still, I still do not think there's anything to worry about. Despite the fact that, oh, here we go, and then I see roaches. I do finally see some roaches. And I think and as I'm seeing roaches, I somehow I for some reason put down a robotics bay. Why the hell do I do that? I mean, I actually notice what's going on. There's these guys. These drones. He, this guy, is just droning up like a boss. Look at that. That's just ridiculous. So there he is. He's, so he's pretty much saturated on that already. Am I saturated on my natural? No. Am I saturated on my main? No. Alright. Lesson learned. Let's saturate and get some friggin' gas. How a bunch more sentries? How much? Wait, 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 wait. Eight sentries. That feels like a little bit of overkill. For the size of my army, that is almost half of my army right there. And then, 37 to 38 army supply outgunned in workers. I decide to move out. And do you see the three gate robot I was working on? Do you know what this has done so far? It's made one observer and that's it. And then I do this other thing where I come up here and I forget. Look at all that. Those roaches are gonna absolutely destroy me unless I attack all at once, which I didn't do. And I think, oh, I'm gonna be all spiffy. Here we go, micro, micro, micro. Probably wanted to put something up here. That would have made a lot more sense. Finally, finally getting out one single immortal. That is it. Bringing up a couple stalkers, but no, at this point, he is getting ready. He is getting his injects on three bases. He's getting his army supply up at the same time because he has a ridiculous amount of money. Oh my god. He wasn't even spending all he could. And this is when this army... This army goes from a value of 45 to 62. 39, 34. Look at that go. I, I managed a couple of tiny little hits in there, but for the most part... No. That just gets demolished. And... Coast. So he loses about 10 army supply, I lose about 35. That's bad. That's bad. And what happens when that gets really bad? You run. Run! Run! Retreat back to base. Go hang out by the immortal, who is probably slightly more powerful than you are. Can one immortal take out... Ooh, 22, approximately? Or no, that's about 20. Yeah. Uh, well, one immortal versus 20 roaches, no. The answer is no. He cannot do that. Although, my choke here along the front, I was kind of happy with this as well. I decide to evacuate. Had I been playing better in a macro game, I'd probably be doing alright. 
I'm finally, finally up to saturation. Because I'm actually at the point where I probably should be expanding. The only problem is he is doing a damn, damn, damn sight better than me. Now look at that. That's just awesome sauce. So he did a very, very good job. He did quite well. I'm trying to get just one more immortal out, so I've got two, almost two immortals up at the top, but not much more than that. I can probably get... Yeah, so here I go for one final last push, and I decide this immortal, he's gonna kill some stuff! One kill, and that's it. Dead. Wanna have a whole lot of fun? Let's have a quick look at the APM tab. 30! Hitting 30. Hitting 30 against an average 49. So this was a silver player, this was a top 25 silver player, and, you know, it was... It was, I, I considered it a... Well, I, I call it a good game because he played really well. I thought he played pretty solid. Um, I sh could have done better had I been macroing a bit better. Or just remembering to make probes. So that's what I need to do. I'm, I'm all the way back to remembering to make probes. I'm trying to get all of this stuff stuck in my head, but that's just a tricky part. Um, season 7 is now on lock, so I'm going to be playing a few games throughout the lock just to <laughs> see how bad that goes. And then Season 8 is going to start up, and we'll see where we go. We have a theory about APM spamming that we're starting to work on. If that might get us into gold for no reason. <laughs> so, uh, leave us a comment. Leave me a comment. Or you can send me an email, ziggityzig at gmail.com, or follow me on Twitter, at Ziggy Starcraft. If you like a bit of the back and forth between Griff and I, then you can check out our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash lime, not lemon. Stay tuned.